You're going. Okay, hi, my name's Jacob, um, from Jacob's Random Things, and this is the Idiot's Guide to Ramen Noodles, I guess. Um, so, you're going to need enough water to fill up your pot, and, um, well, we're doing a pot, um, one, so if you're doing this from, for the microwave, you're on the wrong video. So, we have currently, uh, two cups Two and a half cups um, ramen noodles, the standard chicken flavor ramen noodles, a pork, a bowl, a strainer, and um, uh, taste good vegetable uh, stuff. Uh, you can get this in liquid packets or um, cubes uh, to dissolve in the water. So first step is to pour the water into the pan or pot and you want to get it to enough to where your noodles will soak it up and um, if you have a smaller pot you might need less water to because um, if you have more it might overflow your pot so we're using the left top left hand burner so we're going to Turn on the top left hand burner, like so, and let that boil for right now. So, and yeah, whenever you'll see it start boiling, and it will um, start, and you can see smaller, very small bubbles on the bottom after a while, and it's just a giant patience waiting game, to be exact. So. Um, so, we have this lid which can take and let it heat up a little bit quicker and it gets it all stirring up and uh, condensation, yeah. So, thank you. Um, I'll see you in the next clip. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we are going to take and add the block of ramen noodles. You guys can break it up or crunch it up however you guys want. We are just going to set it in there. Like so. And we are going to wait three minutes. So, yep, yeah, thanks. And we will add the ingredients afterwards. We are going to stir it. I'm moving around so I can get out of it its block texture. So this is pretty neat to be honest because they compact it in just a cube or a semi cube. It's weird. Thank you. I'm going to change for Oh, so we are going to taste how uh, tender it is. So you don't really want it smushy, but you want it enough to where it tastes like a noodle and not a brick. Just needs a hair longer. Okay. So now, it, so since it is done, we are going to turn off the burner. And we are going to take the strainer I mentioned earlier and take right the pot and try not to splash it on yourself and strain it. The steam is also pretty hot. So to where it is noodles. But if you're wearing glasses like I do, as you probably could have seen earlier, um, the steam, if you get your 
head over it, it can steam up and it will be no good. So now, you take the ramen noodles and kind of let it seep down like a brain or something into a bowl. Now, some people add their flavorings sometimes else or stuff like that. I am going to add my flavorings now. So, we have the standard stock chicken, chicken flavoring. Can't be a ramen noodle video without the stock chicken. Um, so, we're going to pour that just in there. I don't know why I can't open it properly each time I open it. Take a fork and stir it around. And you can do all different kinds of recipes with ramen noodles. This is just the stock type. I'm lazy and I'm um, possibly a college student type ramen noodle recipe. It's just boiling water. Put your flavor booster. In. So now we are going to put our vegetable flavor stuff in there. And if you're using the cubes, put it in a before the water is completely gone so it can dissolve into the ramen noodles and soak it in. But since we're using the um, liquid type paste stuff and um, it's only half package. use about half a package, not the whole package, if you're using a package about this size. So, stir it in. And you might need to add water in this. Um, to it, and if it, and if you like it just a little more um, soaked, that's something that you might want to do is add just a hair more water. Speaking of that, it is just clumped up here. I probably should have left a hair more water. Who knows? So these noodles should be tender. They're not mushy, so don't break them like a touch. They should be warm. If you like it just a hair soupy, add water or leave some water in the pot um, so that you can get it a little bit soupier and easier to work with. So, after all this, uh, you probably should know what comes after this. You eat it. That concludes the Idiot's Guide to Ramen Noodles. Thank you. Like and subscribe to my channel, Jacob's Random Things. And, um, uh, yeah, thanks.